a wild tour story from Belize where you know, a whole bunch of girls came back to the hotel. Too much for any one person to deal with. And you know, I had to jump a couple of fences and send somebody else to take my room. The thing is, when I finish with the stage, straight back to my hotel. I don't really stick around, don't hang out much, you know, but I do remember being in Belize where I couldn't sleep, you know. I looked through my window and there was a line down there. Somebody had told the fans which hotel I was staying. And when I looked through the window, there was like a bunch of girls just waiting like orderly in a line. That was, that was crazy. I had to jump over a fence. Well, here's a wild tour story that I was hosting at the Full Loaded Festival in St. Catherine, Jamaica. Not happening to me still, but watching a show and watching my virgin and dancing and dancing and going off and dancing self right off the stage. <laughs> the stage. And then we see them to a couple of people, but you know. One funny thing that I remember though for me is was I think it was fully loaded in Jamaica. I was a host at the time and I was calling on a different artist and at the time Elephant One was new and Elephant had a way. Like whenever he's on stage he's just energetic and hype and grab onto anything, you know, the video person, anybody you know, shake and grab you and when I realized just me and Elephant alone left on the stage when it was Quite a few artists, Kip Rich and a couple more of us. Everybody, Ninja Kid, everybody, Elephant threw them off the stage. So I have to push them off first, come and say, yo, I'm the only first left. Ellie, I got to throw me off of the stage. You know, so I remember pushing him off first, and that was kind of a funny thing. Because he had pushed everybody else off already. You know? So it wasn't such a high stage or anything like that. It was just fun. Another another funny moment with me was also with Elephant Man, guys, a funny character, you know. We were in Tivoli Gardens and we were, we were DJing and he'd been there to pass a pasta and so on. So, you know, it's really like, it's a guns out town then, seriously. And like, we were DJing, Rude Boy living on a fun thing and some more gangster songs that I had and the place was really getting wild. And when I give Elephant back the mic and looking back for Elephant to get back the mic from him, Elephant climb a tree, Elephant Man climb. <laughs> Gone with the microphone way up in on top of a tree on top of a building, you know. And it was really funny watching him up there jumping and knowing that okay, we're gonna have to go up there before we really need to continue the show. So it was, you know, that's a funny thing happening on stage for me. The hot generator starts to smoke and flames start to come out of the thing. The speakers are burning up in the middle of of a of a damn gas station. I've seen dudes pumping gas like this, like looking up at the flames. Like what? When I met him, I was told that he had two children. I found out that he had eight, among so many other things. And I was imagining a Staples singer styled song for Prince. This girl just came off the bus and crossed in the street in a miniskirt. And I blurted out, Hey, you girl in the tight top skirt. 